So today we're at the Better Building by Design conference with John Waite from Ream, and he's going to be talking about their new advancements in the air source heat pump water heater, which is behind him. Um, it is a ducted unit now, which um, caught my eye, and that's what brought me to talk to John. Yeah, with the ductwork now, we just, uh, you can put it in a confined space, uh, a three by three room. Obviously you need the room for the, uh, the elbow off here on the side. Uh, they come in a 50, a 65, and an 80 gallon model. Okay. Uh, bringing the uh, duct length is uh, up to 340 feet if so, you leave it at eight inch. And that's coming in both directions. It can pull in from 300 feet away and it can send out air 300 yes. feet with eight yeah. inch duct. And it, it's also, actually this is the, uh, this is the intake at oh, the, the top. In okay. And this is the exhaust. Okay. And um, so, so could you put this intake into a, a warm, moist bathroom and kind of rob the heat from there and dehumidify that space and then uh, at the same time put the fresh air back into a completely different room like a bedroom? Yeah. Yes, you could, uh, what you'd want to do is probably pull the air out of the bathroom and exhaust the, that way you're getting all the latent heat and putting yeah. it back into the tank and then exhaust it into a, either another uh, living space or into the basement. Okay, and is there any kind of uh, numbers as far as how, much, how that would change the efficiency? Do you have some idea of how that would change the efficiency of the unit if you're pulling in uh, warm air with latent heat? Well, as all uh, heat pumps, when you're trying to heat, the warmer the air, the better. Okay. So uh, as far as efficiency, they're a very efficient unit, uh, obviously. If you bring cold air into it and you're trying to heat it, it just prolongs the cycle. Okay. And what's the COP of this unit it typically? It is 3.5. 3.5, so three and a half yeah. times more efficient than just electric coil heating. And then um, we've got a digital display here. It's where you can set the temperature, probably yeah. the schedule. This is all the ske uh, scheduling, the settings of the tank. Um, whether you want it in energy saver mode, which is the most efficient, or electric mode. So that's like a heat pump only mode would be the energy saver mode. Right. And then there's a hybrid and then a fully electric. There's a uh, high demand, which uh, runs on heat pump and electric. Okay. And uh, there's also a full electric if you uh, need instantaneous uh, response. And does it go up to a 240 volt service? It is a 240 volt service. Okay. And then there's this EcoNet. This is a, is this a transmitter? This is a, the EcoNet is a new uh, Wi-Fi. Connects with the uh, app on a Android or on an iPhone. Okay. Um, allows the uh, end user, the customer, to uh, be able to change the settings on the tank, temperature-wise, or the uh, what what mode it is in. So if they're away on vacation and they decided they didn't schedule uh, the heat pump to go off of you know a mode or they could need to turn down the, the temperature in the tank they, they can, can do, do so remotely from anywhere in the world and then if they're on their way back and they want to turn the heat pump back up so when they get home they can take a hot shower right. uh, they could do that as well it also has a uh, sensor at the bottom of the tank uh, that you could put a uh, it's a leak sensor it'll send the customer an alert if there's water outside of the tank okay. and then also at the same time if it senses that water it'll shut the tank down well, thank you very much, John. It was great talking to you.